second half, the way it started, it seemed like Memphis really came out and, and attacked and was incredibly aggressive. And then within a, a 30 second span, the game completely shifts on its head when uh, their center back gets a red card. Just kind of walk us through how much the game shifted within that second half. Yeah, well, absolutely. Uh, Memphis is a really good team and, and, and they needed to score and they need to go for, for that goal. And, and, and second half, the second half, yeah, was, was, was a little bit uh, crazy. We, we didn't get control of the ball in the first 15, 20 minutes. And, and also that helped them uh, attack a little bit. But I think uh, that red card uh, absolutely with a man down, it makes them um, or makes us have uh, one more play. And that's a numerical advantage we can use in our favor. Tell me what you felt about your defense, especially on the backside and the performance there, because you held them there. And then you got the goal. You finally played with the lead, too, and, and really played strong there for throughout the match. Uh, I think our defense, uh, defense did a, a pretty good job. Um, well, yeah, uh, we conceded a goal, but uh, we always look uh, and we work in it throughout the week for for the clean sheet, and, and that's a goal. But if if all comes, uh, we, we also have the personality to keep working to defend, and it was I think it was uh, five minutes left, and and I think we worked pretty hard, and, and and the whole team is not. I mean, defended is not just the defense; it's the whole team. We all attack, we all defend. I think we all did a pretty good job tonight. A change in keeper for you guys the last two. What's that been like? I mean, we, we have a huge we have a huge trust on on Matty. Uh, he he stepped up uh, as Yannick uh, couldn't play, and and I know him. He's been working um, all the times he's been here. He worked hard, and he worked hard, and 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 I know he was ready for this opportunity, and and we back him up every time, and 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 I think he he his confidence was good uh, both games. It was not easy for him. It was not easy for us neither, because we were not uh, used to having Matt in the goal. But I think he did a pretty good job, and we're happy with him. How much uh, of an impact did uh, Yanis have coming back, not just for uh, the, the back line, but also just what he does getting forward and, and really opening up spaces in the offense? Absolutely. It, 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 he has a huge impact on, on the team, not only uh, defending, but also with the ball. Uh, he, he's really intelligent. He's really good with the ball, and, and that helps us uh, in, in our buildup. It's just confidence when we defend and, and for sure he's a, he's an important player in this team and, and, and we're good to have him back. Just how good does it feel to see the ball in the back of the net? You've had so many chances. His ball just hasn't gotten through the net. Can that give you some confidence as a team now moving forward now? You got a, you saw a couple get in and now kind of pick up their uh, offensively here the rest of the way. Absolutely. Uh, it feels really good when you see the ball going in and 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 you 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 feel happy because the work of of the whole week uh, is reflected on that goal, and 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 it gives you confidence to keep working. Um, I think we 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 scored uh well we got a penalty and and that's were really important for us, and and it just feels good. It feels good when you when you see the ball going in, and and and, and it's a great sensation. Let me build on that a little bit more. What was it about tonight's win that can sustain momentum into the next? Uh, I think. Uh, we're, we're all understanding ourselves better. Um, we, we, we have some new players in the team. And, and I think we're, uh, as, as the games go by, uh, we, we start understanding ourselves better. And, and we just have to keep it going. Uh, I think we are working better every week. Uh, we're building confidence, uh, defense, and attack. And, and, and we're getting sharp in the attack. And, and, and we're putting the balls in. We, we scored two goals today. Um, and, and, and that's what we keep to, that's what we want to keep going on, on the games. Speaking of that, that's the goals, the second goal scored by Ariel Hadar. How, how fun was it just to be able to see him find the back of the net uh, for the first time? Absolutely. It was great. Uh, he's a really hardworking player. Um, uh, he's a really important piece of this team. And, and, and it's a great sensation for, for, for him to, to score. And, and, and we all feel happy for him. And, and he's a player that we're going to need in, in, throughout the whole season. And, and for him to get a goal is great because it gives him confidence uh, for him to keep working and, and, it also gives confidence to the team that, that we're able to, to keep scoring again and, and keep winning games. Is it? Uh, anybody else got any more questions for Mal? No, we're good. Right. We're good, man. Thanks. Congrats. Thank you. Have a great night. Thanks, Mal. Yeah. Matt, you're up. Any questions for Matt Douglas? Matt, Thank congratulations you. on the win. How does this feel to get that victory at home? It uh, feels great, you know, uh, not only just for me, you know, it's my first victory at home, but it's also the team's first victory this season, and it's something that we can build on. 
Matt, when you look at the, the game as a whole, uh, you know, this is only your second game. Uh, last game was a bit of trial by fire. This week you had all of the whole week to prepare yourself mentally and physically. How much of that kind of played into this, just being a bit more confident and a bit more uh, relaxed in front of goal? Um, I mean, yeah, definitely, definitely makes a difference. You know, like uh, I get to work with the team a little more behind them and, and I understand the, the workings that you don't see when, when you're not necessarily that starter every day. But I definitely got to get my feet more under me this game. Any extra energy, excitement, uh, butterflies being here at home, getting the, the start at home here in front of maybe some, you know, w with friends and family watching? No, I, actually, I think it's the, the opposite. I feel more more confident here. You know, it's, it's my place, so it's, it's where I'm most comfortable, and I felt good. Close to the clean sheet, almost closed it out. What happened on that late goal by Memphis? Um, I think it was it was just uh, uh, maybe a miscommunication between me and me and one of the players. But uh, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Uh, I asked Mal about this a, a minute ago, but Yanni's uh, having him back and in front of you. How much was he just a benefit? Uh, not only commanding that back line, but also kind of just being a, a safety valve for you in front of you. Uh, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely different, you know, because it's naturally he's more comfortable playing that. But yeah, it was it was it was different. I think. What's it like to get that first win for you in your career? Uh, you know, I'm sure you're if you're not familiar, it's a great legacy UCF has of great goalkeepers, and now you're you're going to be a part of that, adding that with a win. Got to give you a lot of confidence moving forward when your number's called. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's something that I've been waiting for, working for, and to finally get it feels great. How has Yannick been supportive of you? Uh, good. I talk to him. He, he gives me, you know, confidence, tells me, even though he's been the guy, that he knows that I'm ready. He knows I have what it takes, and, and he has my back fully. With, with being a goalkeeper and, and sitting behind a, a player like Yannick and, and having your number called, how much are just being able to take advantage of the opportunity is this for you and, and kind of prove yourself to the coaches moving forward? Uh, sorry, what, what's the question? How much of this opportunity for you is just a chance to prove yourself to the coaches moving forward? Like, what are you trying to prove, I guess, uh, to the coaches uh, I mean, definitely with this opportunity? Definitely, it's a big opportunity to show like that I'm ready and that I that I can do it. You know, Yannick is very good, and for me to come out and show what I can do in a game, not just in training, is is something that, of course, every player wants to do. And as a goalkeeper, you got to take the shot that you get. You might only get one. So now, you, of course, you're going on the road at SMU, big rivalry there. But do you feel that after this match, you, as a team, you're coming together? You feel it? You're figuring some things out moving forward here after this performance? Yeah, definitely. Um, after week, whether we got the result or not, we see improvements. Everything we do in training is translating to the game, and it's all building. And here we kind of started to see it come together. So I have full confidence that it's going to have the same effect at SMU. more questions for Matt? I think we're good. All right. Appreciate it. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. And then we got coach following it up or closing it out. Hey, coach. Hey, guys. Hey How are there. you? Good, good. Congratulations on the win. First at home this season. How does that feel? Yeah, no, that's – that was uh, a point that was made before the game that we need to be really, really good at home and that um, any, any highly successful team wins at home. So that, that was a message that was sent to the team. So it felt great for, for the guys and um, to be able to deliver on that. Coach, you talked to me on Friday about how important Yanis Learman is for this team. Having him back, having him play a full 90 and being the impact that he was, both offensively and defensively, how much of an impact just for your sake was that? Giannis is um, he's a very experienced player, uh, very good on the ball. He's, uh, he's intelligent, very confident, very comfortable, good 1v1 defender. 
he he he's a very very good player and obviously when we have him in that back line and in our team he, he makes us better um and uh Bet- beto who has been in there for you know the last several games has done a great job and uh and, and it gained a ton of experience and uh, you know, but, but Giannis is, Giannis is a difference maker in that back line for us on, on both sides of the ball, Bu- building out of the back um, when we have possession and, and in the defensive side. How good did it feel to get a lead there and get off to a better start? I know you've been frustrated with yeah. the way the team has come out in the first 15, 20 minutes of these matches. And here you yeah. are, you finally get ahead with, uh, obviously with Yoni with the goal there. How do you feel you came out in the first half there, especially that first 20 minutes? Well, I think, I think the big thing is that the very first game we played, we came out, we were really sluggish and the other team got on top of us. Since then we've gotten on top of other teams and then conceded. <laughs> So for us to be um, for us to be defensively more sound, I think is is really big. Um, we we need to we need to continue to get better in that area and to to you know obviously not conceding a goal early was was key for confidence. Um, you're, you don't feel like you're chasing the game. You aren't chasing the game, uh, and I think that was really really important and. Uh, it's it's something that we're going to keep focusing on to, to, to make sure we can deliver clean sheets. Let's talk about the change in keepers here the last couple. Uh, what's the reason that Yannick's out and what can you tell us about the, the play of Matt? So, so Yannick's unavailable <laughs> to be selected. Um, I can't say exactly why if I'm if I'm being honest, but it's it's not disciplinary. Um, so he's not able to be selected, uh, but Yannick will be back with us. Um, and, uh, you know, in, in, in Yannick's absence, Matt's been great. And I think it's really a difficult task for any goalkeeper um, who hasn't played in games to, to, to come in and to be able to like the, the, the margin for error in coming off your line or staying um, is just these, these decisions that happen in a, in a split second that you've got to get right. And if you don't get it right, there's going to be a, a, an issue like games actually help that a lot. And so I think Matt's done an excellent job, uh, and, you know, was, was very good tonight. Um, so I, 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 I was really happy with Matt and Matt, Matt's, Matt's also a leader within the team as well. And I, I think the team has a lot of confidence in Matt. Matt's played in spring matches, how Matt conducts himself every day in training, how Matt is within the team as a vocal leader. I think those, that aspect of Matt also gave the team a lot of confidence that Matt was going to come in and be a presence at, at the back for us. And I think, I think he's done that. One thing you talked about, Coach, uh, on Friday with me was the balls over top, and that was an issue in, in the yeah. game against Tulsa. How did you feel the team did uh, against Memphis tonight with those? Better. Better. Um, I think you, you end up when, – when you're facing direct play, right, and, and anybody that has watched our previous games, as all our opponents do, would probably be encouraged to play long balls. Um, over the top and and then get into a position where they're isolated against our back line. But I think we did a good job with when that ball came and, and got played long, either we won it, but actually even winning the first ball is not always the most important moment. It's, it's the second ball. And I thought we picked up second balls, but when we didn't, I feel like we got behind the ball and the two holding mids got behind the ball and then we got ourselves organized from there. And that, that was something that we, we were a little bit more stretched when we played Tulsa because we, we pressed them so high up the field that that distance became a lot bigger when they went long. In this game, we weren't quite as high. Um, we made sure that our holding mids were more connected to the back line. And then I thought that everybody in that moment did, did a good job. Um, and, and so I didn't feel like there was nearly as much danger 
created from those moments this game as there was in in the last Tulsa game in particular. And I mean, even in the SMU game um, and that first Tulsa game, there were moments where where we uh, where we were a little bit under pressure from those moments. What, what have you learned about this group? I mean, it's such a unique season. We talked about it before the season. It's a sprint. It's all conference games. You just, yeah. but, but that still doesn't change the process. You're going to learn things about, it, especially the newcomers, and you try some different yeah. things that normally you would try, you know, figure out in the, in the pre-conference. So what have you learned about this group, which hasn't gone smoothly? It's been some adversity with some of the results you haven't, you know, expected or wanted to have. It could have been easy yeah. for this team to kind of lay down and say, well, it's just not meant to be, but they came out strong tonight. What are you learning about your group here as we go? Well, I think, you know, they're, they're willing to look at their performances and make improvements, right? And that, that's been our whole process this week. Um, the, the results, you know, and to, to a degree, we had to show them all the good things that we did do and, and that we have built upon from, from week to week to week um, to remind them that there is massive improvement that's happening. And so um, keeping them positive and, and focused in on that process was, was really important. We did that at the beginning of the week and, and they worked hard during the week and they accepted the information and they looked at some tough moments that occurred in previous games and, and said, okay, yep, we, we can fix this. And all of these, all of these moments are things that we can improve on. Um, and so I think that's, that's really important. We have a lot of young players um, and if they're willing to, to dive into that process to get better, then, then we're going to get better. And the results are going to be this byproduct of the work that we do every single day on the training field or, or in this room here watching video and having discussions about how, how our performance went. So uh, I think that's important. I, I, think they're they're becoming a more connected group in in that you know there are some young players that are playing in this team um and you know you have this kind of cohesion that you have to create that i think only can happen by playing playing and training and playing in games where people start to understand each other better um and so i think that cohesion is, is developing uh, but it's it, it's this organic process that has to take place that that hopefully we as coaches we we create the best environment to bring that out uh, but it it can't really be shortcut by any means I know so um, yeah I think that cohesion's developing I think they're learning to to trust each other you know the win tonight helps a lot with confidence and belief That's really important um, because we. I think I think when you have good performances and you're not getting results, that that belief can can be undermined. Um, but now we've had good performance, good result, and that reinforces the things that they're doing. Based on what you just said, there it seems that this group would have benefited from a couple of preseason matches, right? You would have been able to work oh, yeah. through some of those things. So now, after five, do you feel that the team's turned a corner offensively? Yeah, I think, I think we're getting better. So I think we went from, you know, early on not creating great chances, um, struggling to build out was that first game. Uh, then, then we went to, you know, we, we got a result, a, a Temple, the first half, really good building out, but then we stalled. I, I think now this game looks like Tulsa in terms of chance creation and even maybe better. Um, and now we have to we have to stick the knife in and put teams away. I, I, I'm really curious to look back at this video and, and see the chances that that we did create. I have a feeling we're gonna look back and think, wow, with this slight change, the pace of this ball, you know, the decision to shoot here or slip this pass here. I think we're gonna look back and think we could have scored you know, three, four more goals than we did. Um, and then as, but, but then when we have the whole team look at that and we can figure out what is it that we can do better and then we train it, you know, week by week, the idea is we replicate a similar performance next time we're more lethal around, around goal. And, and so that's, that's the idea. 
Obviously, you had the, the two goals, Hadar with the big goal there. What are you yeah. what are you seeing from him and some of the other guys? Even guys are creating opportunities. Gino, I think, had five shots, two on goal. The, you yeah. mentioned it. It sounds like what you're describing is that you're, you're there's just a split inch, maybe a couple inches decisions here, a second decision, yes. right? It's a difference, right? A- absolutely. Um, really happy with Ariel's performance. Um, he's he's a player I think is going to play more and more as the season goes. He was out for a little bit. And now as he's come back in, uh, he's looked really good in training, which has gotten him now onto the field. Now he's gotten on the field and has gotten a little bit of experience, scored a goal. So I feel like he's building within this season. Uh, he's just a little bit behind because of how he, how he started. Um, but it's exciting to see him join because I think he's – the thing Ariel has is Ariel has an engine. And when you watch Ariel, Ariel's a guy, he's going to pass and he's going to run. He's, and he's going to run, he's going to get the ball again, he's going to dribble, and he's going to, like, he's just going to pass and move, pass and move, and pass and move, and he'll add a little bit of a dynamic element to our front group. Um, and so whether that's coming off the bench more or, or you know, him fighting to get into that starting role, I'm excited to see how he progresses in these next couple games. One week from tonight, you'll be in Dallas. Talk about yeah. the challenge that is SMU. Yeah, so now it's it's exciting. Um, they they have been rolling. I think they smacked USF 7-0, Memphis 5-0. Um, they, they've been rolling. And so we're going to have to have a great plan to go there and to try to win that game. Uh, because they, they have an excellent team. Uh, historically, that's been a big game for us every year. We've met them in the final three straight times and come out the wrong side of that three straight times. So we've, we've got, um, it's, a, it's a game that anybody that loves competing is looking forward to that game. And um, yeah, we, we're going to look really close at, at the tape and what they're doing. We know them really, we know them well, but they do have some new players. I think they've done a great job as usual in, in recruiting. Um, every year they get stronger. Um, and even, even in the years where I thought, okay, we've gotten stronger. Then we turn around and we play them. We're like, well, they got stronger too. (laughs) So, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be a big game. It's going to be fun. Well, thank you, Coach. Congrats on the win, and uh, we you. good luck up there in Dallas. We'll talk to you down the road. All right. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks, Coach. Enjoy, Coach. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night.